Okay, so I'm trying these wild, that's wild with an E on the end, protein chips. So they got 10 grams of protein per serving, made from real ingredients. Uh, when I grabbed the bag, I didn't realize it was sea salt and vinegar. I thought it was just sea salt. I'm not a huge fan of the and vinegar part, but I'm going to try it and see if I like it anyway. Here goes. And they feel pretty salty. I guess that's why they got sea salt on the cover. You definitely taste the vinegar from like the get-go, from the first bite. Now, as far as salt and vinegar chips go, it's not awful. The chip itself can maybe be a little more crispy. It's not very potato-y. But, you know... It's supposed to be a healthier chip. So if you want like a healthier alternative for a potato chip, I guess it's not bad. It was pretty expensive. I don't know if I'd get it again based on the price. I think it was like $7.99. I did have a coupon, but that's before the coupon. The coupon was a dollar or two off, but that's still pretty high for this relatively small bag of chips. But... Regardless of price, just based on taste and enjoyability factor alone, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It was actually better than I was expecting. And now, off camera, my assistant will try one. Here she goes. They look interesting. Yeah, they look kind of weird. I like them. She likes them. I give it an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10? And you weren't expecting to like them either. Because mm -hmm. when I told you I got salt and vinegar, she said, oh, I'm not a big salt and vinegar fan. So, and neither am I. So Chicken breast, egg whites, and bone broth. Yeah, I don't know what all that means, but that's, that's interesting. apparently what it's made, uh, some of its ingredients. I guess the chicken breast is where they get the high protein from. So we went in with low expectations, and I got a get 7 out of 10 for me and an 8 out of 10 from the assistant. Um, the only downside is... Um, on the expensive side and i guess another downside would be is they're not very potato chippy so if you're really craving a potato chip you might want to just get a traditional chip but if you're trying to be more healthy and you don't mind spending extra money here you go like and subscribe please like and subscribe thanks